Welcome to Lecture Online and continuing with the different types of first order differential equations so that when we recognize them we can figure out what solution we need to use. Here's number four. Remember the first three are on the previous video. So here we have what we call a homogeneous first order differential equation. And how do we solve it? We substitute it by saying v equals y over x. And of course it needs to be a particular type of differential equation. We have to have the dy dx equal to some function in the form of y over x. And here's an example. dy dx equals 2x squared plus y squared divided by xy. You say, well, wait a minute. I don't see the y over x here. Well, we can change the equation. We can say, okay, let's rewrite this equation. We can say dy dx is equal to, when we divide this into there, the x squared divided by x, the x cancels here, so we end up with a 2x over y plus, and when we divide this into that, the y cancels out this y, and we end up with a plus y over x. And then notice we have an x over y, and we have a y over x, and of course we can write that as 2 times x over y can be v, so we write this as v, plus 1 over v, or v to the minus 1, and now we have made the substitution and we can solve that differential equation. So of course we need to change the dy dx to dv dx, but that's something we will show you how to do later. Again, just notice that you don't always immediately see the type of equation until you say, oh wait a minute, I can re-change it, I can write this in a different form where I do recognize it's that type where I can do the substitution of v equals y over x. The fifth type of differential equation is what we call the exact differential equation, where we have this equation in the form some function of x and y as a function of x. And that is set then equal to a constant, could be equal to zero in this case. So here's an example, y cubed dx plus 3x y squared dy equals zero. The reason why it's in that form is whatever equation you end up with, can you make it look like this? And that's exactly what this example looks like. So notice some function of x and y dx plus some function of x, y, dy. And the condition is such that the partial derivative of your original function with respect to x and the partial derivative of your original function with respect to y, that they can be set equal to each other. And so we'll show you how to do that technique later. But anyway, that is the different, that is what we call the exact differential equation. And we'll show you the technique of how to solve that. And then finally, sometimes we have what we call a second order differential equation, which can be turned into a first order differential equation when we make the substitution. So here we have a function that has x, y, y prime, and y double prime, which of course immediately tells you that's a second order differential equation. But if you can change it to an equation that looks like this, x, y prime, and y double prime, and then if we make the substitution that p is equal to y prime, and that y double prime is dp dx, then this equation will become something like that. For example, if we start out with an equation that looks like this, x squared y double prime plus 2y prime equals 6x, and we make the substitution, the equation now looks like this, and that of course is a first order differential equation for which we use the proper technique. So here you can see that a big part of the battle is to recognize what first order differential equation we're looking at and then using the proper technique. In addition to the examples that I showed you, there's some numerical methods as well. There's some approximation methods which we'll go over as well. You can already see that we, we, we showed you how to do the curve method by showing the slopes on the xy plane and then having the various curves fitting that. So there's all kinds of methods in which we can solve differential equations and we'll go in the next video series, we'll go to the entire set of every different type, show you different examples of how to use every one of those techniques so that you can become very proficient in using these solution techniques for differential equations. But at least now you know what type you'll be running into and that's how it's done.